Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Hello, Dr. Neocortex. Developed by vicarious visions. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Techno, and welcome. It's Crash Bandicoot! To my newest Let's Play on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot and Saintrology. Yo, this first off, this intro. It's fucking amazing. Gives me an extreme nostalgia boner. Um, I've been super excited for this game. If you didn't know, I am a massive Crash Bandicoot fan. In fact, this is pretty much a definition of my childhood. Uh, Crash Bandicoot was pretty much my first real video game, and I have played the entire series. And yes, every single game, even the shitty fucking games towards the end that they had. And honestly, for the past several years now, all I've been wanting is either a new Crash Bandicoot game, or for them to remaster or remake the first three games in the series, and they finally remade the first three games in the series. And honestly, this has been probably one of my most anticipated titles of all time. Which is kind of weird because it's a remake of games I grew up with, but to be fair, the nostalgia is strong in this one. Uh, I am super excited to play this game. Um, I am going to 100% all three games. I'm going to play through all the three games. We're going to start with the first game, obviously. Um, now, I did attempt to record the, uh, this episode already, but I had a recording failure after I beat the first level, so that's a thing. Uh, you can see I could continue because I fucked up the recording. Um, I love that Crash Scream. Uh, we, so we are going to be playing all three games. Uh, I do consider myself a Crash Bandicoot master since I played every game in the series, though it has been a while since I played Crash Bandicoot. It's been a few years, so I may be a little rusty. But without further ado, let's jump into the first game. Uh, yes, override save. And now let's play the introduction, which is fucking amazing, by the way. I'm pretty much gonna gush this, um, I'm pretty much gonna gush about this game the entire fucking playthrough, by the way. But, Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron, this bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! This introduction looks so fucking good, by the way. We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! I know this, like, I've memorized every single line from this introduction. is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! Obviously, because I played the first game so many times. And there he is. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think I'm pretty sure they changed Crash's voice, but obviously they kind of had to do that. Also, Tana is, uh, <laughs> you know, looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I also like how they gave her more of a badass side. Uh, definitely a little better than the typical damsel in distress, but you know. Um, now, what I am interested in, and I, is I know they added a lot of new content to all three games. Like, for example, they added time trials to the first two games, despite it not having time trials in the original. Um, so I'm curious to see what else they added. Also, I hope they fixed um, the save feature from the first game. Like, if you didn't know, uh, this game has box gems, which, again, I will 100% every... All 100% all this game, or all the games, right? But in the first Crash game, I remember the save feature was a little wonky. Um, I'll explain a little bit more later. But uh, I hope they at least fix it, which I'm sure they did, because if they didn't, people would have raged about it a bit, I feel like. Um, man, it feels so weird playing this game again. Um, I'm pretty much going to memorize... A lot of these levels I already have memorized from the first game, so it's going to be like so natural to me. Um, but, like, but like I said, it has been a few years since I played the original games. I do have the original games on the PS1 still. Also, let's become invincible! Let's see if I can actually do this on my first try. In the failed recording, I couldn't actually do this. What I want to do is there's a bridge with a bunch of boxes that, that uh, we need to get to, and if we get to them in time, no, I'm not going to get to them in time because I kind of fucked that up. If we get to it in time, we can just kind of run past it. Okay. I actually had time to do that. Wow. Uh, so basically, we could have ran past that if we had more time. Uh, we're not going to be able to. I actually don't even know if I can do this. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I missed one box. God damn it. Uh, should I try getting it? 
Okay, I'm gonna if I if I die, this is gonna suck. First death. Oh, that sucks. Uh, no lie, I actually did it my second try. Um. I mean, not my second try. I actually did my first try. Like, I failed the invisibility, but I got the rest in my failed recording. Ah, oh, this makes me look so bad. Uh, it's fine. We don't need no invisibility to do this. We can do this on our first try, hopefully. Uh, this time, I'm actually going to go to the left first, just because. I, I, I think there's a box over here. There is. I mean, we're going to have to go back here anyways, but I might as well just do this now. Okay, so you see that invisible box over there? You, that'll be a gem once you get all the boxes. Uh, this, this bridge has always gave me problems, even in the first Crash game. So, uh, let's hope we can do this in one go this time. That'd be nice. Uh, this has always been tricky, though, so... If, if you manage to get here with the invincibility, it is rather easy, but... Okay, let's try this. Ready? Fucking... Okay, I'm gonna skip to when I actually succeed at doing that. Holy shit, I did it! Finally! That actually took a while, because I don't even know how many... Okay, there we go. I got a few... I think I got, like, one or two extra lives, so... Yeah, that took a while, actually. That's not all the boxes, though, so there might be one more left. Wait, what... What box did I miss? What? I got all the boxes, right? Did I actually... Maybe it's up here? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm about to say, like, I got all the boxes, right? Okay, yeah. That actually took a little longer than I would have liked. Perfect! That's new, okay. Oh, I remember when he used to do that. That's so cool. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be gushing about this game. No, no lie, though. I did that pretty much on my first time in the failed recording. Like, I messed up running across the bridge, and then I... Killed myself. Okay, well, I didn't do my first try. I killed myself. But then, when I, like, jumped over those boxes like that, I did it my first try. And then my recording fucked up. Yeah. But we did it. Uh. Huh. We can actually do the time trials right away. I don't think I'm gonna do the time trials, honestly. Or maybe I'll do it, like, after I beat the game. I'm gonna focus mainly on the gems, since in the first Crash game, all you had to do were the box gems. Um. But, anyways, let's move on to the next level. Um. Now, I do know there are some levels where you can't actually get the box gems right away because you need the color gems. So, And I forgot which levels those are, but I'll figure that out later. Um, now, as I was saying before about the save feature, I remember in Crash 1, what ends up happening is uh, in the first Crash game, or in Crash Bandicoot in general for the box gems, what's supposed to happen... Also, do not spend these TNTs. I'm just saying this for people who may be a little too young and not know about Crash Bandicoot. Do not spend those. Um, anyways, for the box gems, basically, if you break every box in a level, you'll get the box gem. What's supposed to happen is when you hit a checkpoint, um, it will save your progress, obviously. But, you know, all the boxes you hit before the checkpoint should, you know, remain broken, right? But, in the first game, there was, like, a bit of a glitch where, it, it, um, even though you hit a checkpoint, uh, the boxes before the checkpoint would reset. So, you would pretty much have to beat a level without dying in order to get the box gem. I hope they fix this issue. I'm pretty sure they did, because if they didn't, then it would be a little stupid if they didn't fix that. Um, so if I do that, that means 100 playing the game will be a lot easier and a lot less bullshit. And that's probably my only main complaint in the game. That, and also, it was always hard to save the game, because if you actually saw, we got a Tana token. Oh yeah, we can't get the box gem in this level, because this is a fucking color gem, and up there is going to be a bunch of more boxes, so I probably shouldn't even worry about breaking the boxes, but I'll still do it anyways, because the one for fruit will give us extra lives. Anyways, um, I do remember in the first Crash game, uh, which by the way, this game is pretty much gonna be memory lane, uh, in the first Crash game, the only way you could save is through the Tana tokens. Um, and I think when you got a box gem you can save as well, I'm not completely sure, it's been a while, but, yeah. Also, let's see if I can do this. Nope, good thing I had Aku Aku. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, we won't be able to actually get all the box gems this level because of colored gems. But, yeah, also, there should be a TNG. Nope, that's probably the next batch of boxes. Um, honestly, this, this is, like, so, uh... Oh, they had a little teleporty thing. Normally, it would just make you go right away once you got all the tokens, but, uh... What was I saying? I actually forgot. There is one thing I will say, though. Um... 
The momentum in this game is a little weird, I'll be honest. Also, damn you, Cortex, you stole my girlfriend. Um, also, I forgot if this counts towards the box gym. I don't think it does. Anyways, the momentum in this game is a little weird. Like, the movement's a little bit different from how I remember it. It's not too bad, it's just something I've realized. So it's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, yeah. It's, it's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, we missed three boxes because of that color gem, but whatever. It happens. So that was weird. Um, honestly, like I said, I can't wait to see... Damn. Uh, I can't wait to see what they change about this game. I will say it's looking really good so far. It's exactly how I remember it, obviously, but the game looks fucking beautiful. Like, seriously. As a remastered should, but, you know, I just really like how it looks. Oh, the Great Gates. I remember when I was a kid, uh, this was, like, the first hard level for me. I don't know why. I, I always had problems with this level when I first played it as a kid. Though, to be fair, I was a kid. And this level can be a little tricky. Mainly because there's a lot of pits you can fall in and a lot of different obstacles. Um, I think you can't get the all the box... I, I don't think you can get the box gym in this level either. Oh, I remember why I hated this level. Because jumping on those pads and holding down X was always a bitch. Maybe it's because of the PS1 controls. Maybe in this game it'll be a little easier. But I remember it was a little hard to do that. Right. Also, the fact that there's pits and a lot of obstacles, but that's probably another reason why. Let's not get crushed by that. And these fucking monkeys as well. Fucking pushing me off. Oh, great. I remember that. Yo, this is, like, completely natural to me, though, like I said. Because I've played all three cash games multiple times. Uh, yo, this is seriously, like, giving me so much nostalgia already. Uh, let me... Okay. Okay, I kind of messed that up. And with that, that's bringing back memories already. Remember, constantly go falling back down and having to redo this. Uh, great. This is one memory I didn't want to relive, actually. But, again, now that the checkpoint system should theoretically be fixed, I shouldn't have any real problems with this. Oh, there we go. Invincibility! We're not going to get hit by these, though we'll probably still get some knockback damage, so... Oh, I hate those guys, too. Thank God we had invincibility. Oh, I thought I died for a sec. Again, the controllers are a tiny bit weird. Also, wow, this lasted a little longer than I thought it would. I could have probably went, but whatever. Um, the commentary might be a little more silent because I don't know it's a little hard to commentate over a platformer I've been playing like a lot of story driven games recently so commentating over a platformer is gonna be a little more <laughs> what did I really just die in a bonus level that was stupid okay uh I pressed X I mean I mean I guess I didn't press it sure that was really embarrassing actually I cannot believe I died in a fucking bonus level of all things This should be easy. There we go. Again, I'm not sure if this counts towards the box jump. I'm just going to assume it does. Yo, when we get to um, Embryo and Cortex's bonus stages, oh my god, that's going to be so hard. I remember them being impossible in Crash 1. Uh, at least Tana's aren't too bad. Also, I have no Aku Aku, so I should be careful. Oh... Yep, we do need a color gem. Never mind, so that was a waste of time. But whatever. Uh, I think there's six color gems in this game, which is weird, actually. I remember it was always I've always found it weird that there are six color gems in this game, but in Crash Two and Three, there's only five. I don't know. That was always something that was weird to me. Um, also, you know something I'm also thinking of. I remember there were some uncut levels in Crash One. I don't think they would have done it, but it would have been really cool if they added some of those. Especially one of those, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it was, like, the second rain level. Y you know what I'm talking about if you, if you know Crash 1. If they actually had that level in the game, that would have been really cool, but I kind of doubt it. It's just a thought I had. Anyways, let's go into probably one of the most iconic levels in Crash Bandicoot, and one of my personal favorites. The one where you run away from a boulder. This is going to be fun. 
And I know for a fact you can get the box jump in this one, so... At least with this, I, oh, I can be sure I'm gonna get it. That's why I don't die. Because it would suck if I do. I already had, like, fucking two deaths already in this Let's Play. Well, two deaths on camera. I had actually more than that because of me trying to do those. That, um... Box bridge, but, you know. I don't think that really counts. That was just me trying to get all the crates. Oh, man. The animation on Crash is looking good as ever. Yeah, I, I swear. Uh, Victarious... Vic Vicarious Visions did a really good job in this remake. Seriously. The animation looks just fucking great. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna complain a bit, actually. I know in Crash 1... Okay, no, never mind. There we go. In Crash 1, if you leave Crash alone, he'll, like, look around and shit. It, I feel like it was a little better done in Crash 1, but it looks like he still does it, I guess. I don't know. I guess little things were better in the original, but the, the remake is definitely better in every way possible, obviously. Better visuals, you know... Added content. I can't wait to see what it has. Just being a little nostalgic of that right now. And where it's like, oh, in Crash 1, the animations are better. Which, to be fair, no, I did take really good care of Crash Bandicoot in the original game. Also, I'm kind of really close to this boulder. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die with one mistake. Holy shit. Uh, hold on. Let me just concentrate right now, because I know for a fact I'm gonna die if I... Okay, there we go. Oh! Anyways... Naughty Dog is really good at adding little details. Um, it, it would make sense if they couldn't add every single detail in this game. But they, they did a good job so far. I'm, I'm really impressed so far. Honestly, the fact that they added extra content is really cool. So far, all I know is that they added time trials, which is always cool. That adds replay value. I'm just curious what else they added, you know? Oh, upstream. This one was fun. You know I'm actually waiting for? The donkey one. That's going to be fun. Or was he a donkey? I think he was a boar. Either way, you know, the, the other chase level. Does this need a color gem as well? I can't actually remember. Also, what's the point of this? Anyways, um... I can't remember if this needs a color gem or not, but either way, no matter what the level is, I'm going to try to break all the boxes that I can and hope that there's a box gem at the end of it. If not, well, whatever. I know one of these levels definitely needs a color gem, though. One of the stream ones. Oh, man. This jumping is going to feel tense every fucking time. The momentum's a tiny bit weird, I'll be honest. But uh, it's fine. It's nothing too bad. Ooh. Okay, let's not spin this. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen sooner or later, actually. That was kind of, I mean, that was partly my bad, partly the momentum. I'm not going to blame that every time, but, you know. It has to get some getting used to. I will, I will say, though, I, I am happy that when, even if you failed a ton of bonus level, they'll let you retry. Because, you know, last... Two, two levels ago that did happen to me so I appreciate that thank you game for actually being a little more fair than the original crash one you have that edge on your sleeve so far damn I would have probably been invincible already these guys I remember were a bitch to deal with Woo! oh yeah you need a color gem for this ah uh, kind of figured okay well we can't get the box gem anyways but I'll still try to break every box obviously because Wumpas gives you extra lives and we do have a bonus stage so we might as well go there I hope my commentary is kind of good. I don't know. Like I said, like, commentating a platformer is a little hard. I'm sure it's fine. Oof. Let's not kill ourselves this time. Let's not fail at the bonus stage again, you know? I, I'm trying to be really careful, though, because I really don't want to fuck this up. There we go. Poor Tana getting captured by Cortex every time. I'll save you at the end of the game. Don't worry. Okay, I thought a fish was gonna jump out at us for I mean, for a second. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there actually is another color gem path. There's two of them? Huh. Again, I don't remember everything in this game because it's been a while, but 
Yeah, I remember. There's definitely six levels where you need color gems. Um, though, had, I forgot how you get the colored gems. Are they just in the level normally? I kind of forgot, actually. Oh, no, actually, I think what happens is you get a key, and then that key unlocks a level, and then you beat that level to get the colored gem. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong, though. Oh, the fat man himself, Papu Papu, our first boss fight. If I fail this boss, I'm going to be mad because this is honestly one of the easier boss fights in all of gaming. So if I fail this, I'm going to be mad at myself. Hello, Papa Papa, you look as fat as ever. Jump. Oh my god, you got upgraded. I think before you had three hits, you actually have five now. It was three hits before, right? If that is true, he actually got quite a bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Jesus. Still doesn't make him that... Oh, yeah. Okay, I just bumped my desk because I got a little scared there. I, I don't want to get hit at all because it would be embarrassing to even get hit. Is he going to do the... Aw. I was actually hoping for the... Yee! Oh, okay, I can't do high bitch voice. You know what I mean, the yee-haw that he done in the first game. Or even the, uh, the the iconic dance he does in the second and third game, but whatever. It is weird that they didn't add that, though. Either way... Wait, what's... What's this? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? This is new. Also, let's actually... Wait, L1. L1. L2. Okay. I don't think we need to save. Does this? I think it saves automatically, right? I think it saves automatically. Anyways, what is this? Coco's time machine. This is obviously new. Do you want her to join your adventure? Sure. Huh. We can be Coco. Is there a benefit to that? That is kind of cool, actually. Hold on, I actually want to try her out then. Is there a, is that just like a, a like a skin swap or is there actually a benefit to being Coco? Either way, this is pretty cool actually. Not even gonna lie. Well, I guess it's another new feature they do. Interesting though, because Coco wasn't even in the first Crash game. Yo, yo, she looks so cool. Is there anything different about her? Her spin, like, I think it makes a different sound effect. Is there anything different about her? Or is it literally just a skin swap? Either way, this is really cool. Oh! Thank god I didn't spin that Bureau, uh, Brio to token away. That would have sucked. Oh yeah, and this is the start of the Brio tokens as well. I don't think we're going to get Cortex until the third island, I believe? Oh, but Brio's, uh... Oh my god, I don't... I've never seen Coco... <laughs> oh my god. With, uh... Aku Aku on her face. Because I think the only levels Coco had in, in the second and third game was fucking god. Was, uh... <laughs> You know, the, um, the Pura stages where she's on her tiger, and I think the skiing levels, and that's really it. Oh, and the Jet Fighters. So I don't think we've ever seen her with Aku Aku's mask on her. That's kind of cool, actually. I fucked that up badly, though. Jesus. Pits are my mortal enemy, I swear. Okay, let's not fuck this up this time. Oh, I'm, I'm just waiting for that platform that falls. That's gonna be a bitch. Okay, good. I didn't want to destroy this. Mainly because of this. Oh, it was just a bouncy thing. Oh, we would have had another invincibility if we didn't lose it. God damn it. Oh, that's the thing that falls down. Okay, we got Tana. Let's go into her. C go into her. Jeez, that sounds wrong. Go into her bonus level. Oh, this is gonna be a little harder. Should be fine. Hopefully. You know, I never actually fucked up on her stage so far, except for that one time where I, like, fell in the pit. I mean, in terms of, like, breaking these boxes, I haven't... Okay, 
Still haven't fucked up yet. Oh, oh, oh I, and I fucked up there. Okay, I, I, uh, <laughs> you know, jinx myself there. We're gonna try that again, though. I do appreciate that we get to do this multiple times, though. Thank you, game. I'm not sure if this counts towards the box gems or not, like I said. I do know the bonus stages in Crash 2 and 3 do count towards the box gems. I'm just not sure if the first game does. Again, it's been a while. If anything, I think just Tana counts, if anything, because I'm pretty sure that Brio's and Cortex's don't. I could be wrong, though. Also, I love how Coco holds her laptop in her hand. I mean, that's in... She did that in Crash 3 as well, but that's just kind of cool. I'm pretty sure this is just a skin swap, swap which, you know, was still cool. I just wish they gave her a little bit, like... I don't know. I, I just kind of wish they made her a little more unique. I guess she was never too unique in the other games either. Also, another color gem. Are you serious? God damn it. Get what? I'm pretty sure I pressed X there, but okay, game. Also, thank God this counts as the checkpoints. Uh, no Aku Aku's a little hard, but whatever. Let's not fail that this time. Where did I miss? I guess I missed Brio's face. I'll replay the level to see if I can get that because that's actually kind of weird. Okay. I don't know where I missed it. I obviously missed it somewhere. I probably sp spun it away, actually. Ah, oh, damn you, color gems. Okay. Well, we did it. Oh, I'm going to see Coco get hit by boxes. I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, that's, that's a lot more... Uh... Uh, I feel really bad, actually. Uh, Coco makes everything cute. Uh, I'm actually going to replay that level and see if I can do real st stage just because I want to. Uh, so I guess I'll skip back until when I do that. If this loading screen can hurry up a bit. Okay, and actually this time I'll use Crash, why not? Okay, I will skip back to when I get to Brio stage. Uh, you know what? I bet the Brio tokens in here. I'm pretty sure what ended up happening last time is I broke it with this invincibility, and I probably blasted it away. You know what, too? I remember this exactly. I think it's in the left corner, on the in the back. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right with this. I have to make sure I do not detonate any of these, but I'm actually curious to see if I'm right. I am. Oh my god. I am so fucking smart. Well, I mean, I missed it the first time, but yeah. I... God, I can't believe I forgot that. All right, now we'll skip to when I get to the Brio stage. Okay, let's try this Brio stage this time. Again, I, I want to at least try it because I forgot how the Brio stages are. All right, they're all TNT based. That's why I remember it being hard. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to try that one more time though, but I, I don't expect me to do this at all. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm positive these don't count towards the box gems, because I remember me not doing, like, any of these properly and, and still getting the box gems. I want to, okay, third time's the charm. I'm only going to try this one more time, but I'm curious just to see if I can do it. Okay, hold down X to jump, got to remember that. Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to keep trying that. Uh, I'll skip to when I finish the level. Oh, okay, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try it one more time. And of course, when I try it one more time, I do it perfectly. Fucking God. I'm so mad right now. Well, I actually did it. Which is impressive. <laughs> I, I had it. I had it. Oh my God. Fuck my life, man. All right, I did it this time. Uh, took, I think, five tries? But I actually did it, and I'm proud of myself, actually. Okay, now I'll skip back to when I finish the level. All right, we're done with that. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna stick with Crash. I mean, there's not really a difference between them. Might as well just stick with Crash, because he was originally just him in this game. So, now we're gonna do one of my personal favorite levels, actually, Hog Wild. I fucking love these types of levels. It's the same as, um, Polar in 
uh, Crash 2 and the Baby T, I think, in Crash 3, pretty much you're on an animal and you, you know, it's like a chase segment, which I really fucking love. Well, not a chase segment. The chase segments are the boulders, but you know what I mean. It's like on rails, which is really fucking fun, actually. Uh, I love these levels. I'm a big fan of them. Oh, the music. I love this fucking remix so much. Well, luckily, these are straightforward. You just have to... There's no color gems as far as I'm aware of in these types of levels, at least I think. And all you do is break these. Also, thank fucking God they're fucking... Okay, actually, this is a good time to check out. I just got a checkpoint. So if I get the box gem, that fucking glitch is over with. Which, by the way, it should be over with, by the way. Also, I thought I could jump over that guy, but no, I just have to sidestep him. Okay. These aren't too hard, except you can fail easily by that, so I guess it is kind of hard. Yeah, I remember losing a lot of lives on these, actually, now that I think about it. It's back in the day. I'm probably going to do it this time, too. But it's a trial and error type stage as well. Once you figure it out, you'll know exactly what direction to do that on, like that. Get all the boxes. New checkpoint, perfect. Let's stay on the right. Oh, let's go to the left. Okay, let's get all these boxes. Uh, right. Jump. We're on a boar, and there was another boar being cooked under. It's kind of traumatizing for Crash and his friend of the boar. Jump. What? There's no way I should have hit that. that. Wow, I have to do all that over again. Okay. Once more. To the right. To the left. Let's get these boxes. Oh, it feels so. It feels like I'm barely gonna miss it, but managed to do it every time. Luckily, the first stage isn't as hard as the other ones. The other ones are definitely gonna be a lot harder. I know that for a fact. Uh, let's hit that. This time, jump over that properly. Thank you. That should have happened the first time. To the right. We got the gem, and we did it. That was a lot more tense than any level, but I love those levels personally. Also, did you always? Get that gem out of here? I think so. Huh. Anyways. Ah, uh, that was my, one of my personal favorite levels in the game. On to the next one. Man, I'm going through this game pretty fast, actually. Now that the checkpoint system isn't BS anymore. Uh, it's a lot easier. Oh, this one, though. I remember this one. Uh, in my opinion, the first true hard level. Uh, let's go, I guess. 